before. Can you imagine? He's been through those 70 win streaks and done well. Uh, I would tell my good friend he is aging. <laughs> he's got some gray hairs he never had. But uh, I'm happy for him. He's a good man. He's a good coach and he's a good man. I know yeah, I looked at this game and focused on it a little bit, but how special is this weekend? Joey Hall had 40 something players coming back and Sean Blue. Well, it's great stuff. Sean, Sean and I have been pretty close for the last, whatever, five, six years. He, he was very close with Tony Barber. So Tony and he were from Indianapolis together. So, you know, I was, I've always been on his resume and have helped him and, and will help him with the next job that he, he has an opportunity to get. Um, and then for Coach Hall, he's been a special friend. He's been like a mentor. Um, he was in practice yesterday, he comes to practice two, three days a week, he gets on there and starts diagramming stuff for me. You know, a great day for me was last year when we introduced him, I think it was at the, uh, the blue-white scrimmage, and I sat him on the bench, and the response from our fans was like, wow. And sometimes when you coach and you've been away, I don't know if he realized, you know, how people feel about him here, that they truly love him. And so for 40 players to come back, for us to be a part of that and be around, and for me to be around him and him to be able to help us today. So here's a guy that coached in the 70s, won a national title, and has nothing but good things for me. There's no jealousy. It's not, well, Cal got this, and I never had this, and I had to do with the, without this. And my office was, you know, here, all he is is happy Kentucky's doing well. And he wants to be a part of it and wants to come to practice. And he's become a dear friend because of that. Now, how much of Josh's development has surprised you? The best thing he did was uh, Twitter the, the garbage he Twittered. Because <laughs> <laughs> he, even today, is still conditioning 30 minutes before every practice. And then he practices. Are you seeing somebody that's in the best shape of their lives? Are you seeing somebody that mentally never could do this, could never break that barrier? So here's what I learned from this. And I, if I'm repeating myself, too bad, but I do this sometimes as I get older. Um, it shows you the guys that beat up their players, that you know, just mentally and physically beat them up. Say they don't yell anymore, just beat them up, OK? Some players, that's what they need. Josh needed that. Now, did Brandon need that? No. So there are other players that you can get to them to the level. I've had great players that didn't need that. But Josh did, and it shows me there are all kinds of ways of doing what we do. And there are some guys, like I'm putting a couple others on his regiment. We got a couple other guys that need to build their own self-esteem and break barriers. And it can't be me saying it or you saying it or why not. So let's just put them through the gun. You either make it or you're not making it. Figure it out. So I'm happy for him. I'm telling you, I get calls every day about Josh. And it makes me laugh. It makes me like, what? And, and uh, 